excited. I'm excited. I appreciate you so much, Lady Leah. I always love to give honor where honor is due. Hello, everyone who is tuning in for Pow Her Break. I am so excited to be here. Listen, when Lady Leah contacted me and she was like, listen, we're talking on identity and I want you to get in here and share your thoughts and what the Lord is saying to you right now. I said, yes, ma'am, I will obey. So I got in here and I, and it's funny because that day God started to download things to me, even after I, I got off contact with her and he just began to deal with me about vessels fit for the master's use. So um, he led me over to 2 Timothy 2 and 2 and 2. And specifically, he started like around like the 19th verse. Um, and in this part of the Bible, he's talking about the approved and disapproved workers, right? I just believe that we are in a season where God is sharing with us how we can come up higher how we can get those things out of our life that is blocking relationship with him. He's also revealing to us who we are. He's revealing to us our relationship with him and his relationship with us. So let me just go ahead and jump into this. But let me, I always like to pray. Heavenly Father, have your way. I decrease and move out of the way so that you will have your way. Let your ears and the hearts of your people now receive what it is that they need in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right. Sounds good. Second uh, Tim Timothy 2 and 19, he starts off by saying, nevertheless, the solid foundation of God stands. Having this seal, the Lord knows those who are his and let everyone who names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. He then goes on in verse 20 and says, but in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay, some for honor and some for dishonor. 21 says, therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from the latter, he will be a vessel for honor, sanctified and useful for the master, prepared for every good work. Listen, ladies, it's time out. And I, I promise I'm going to smile a lot while I say these things because I don't want anyone to get offended. But it is time out for those things that we have in our lives that we know God has told us to either let go or he has told us to not even entertain them. But because we lack our identity, we, we don't know that we are to be vessels fit for the master's use. We engage in different types of iniquity. A lot of times we engage in relationships that are not even relationships that are for us. They're not men who we should be connected to. Uh, we get into business partnerships with people that we are not supposed to be involved in. And so my question is this, as a woman of God, are you inquiring of the Lord and asking him, God, is this where you want me to be right now? Remember, he says, acknowledge me in all of your ways and I will direct your path. A lot of us are out here directing our own path. And then when we get our results, we want to turn around and say, God, I'm upset. I'm frustrated with you. You didn't do what I thought you should do. But you never ask God from the beginning if this is what you should do. Remember, we are his daughters. We are his daughters. So therefore, we need to inquire of our father. God, where is it you would have us to be right now? What is our purpose? Yes, our purpose is to glorify you in the earth. Yes, our purpose is to honor you. But where is it you would have me position now? Would you have me position? Should I be pursuing marriage or should I be single and, and getting therapy and working out my problems before I bring a man into the situation? Father, should I pursue that degree or should I pursue that degree? What is it you would have me to be doing right now? If anyone cleanses himself, and what are we cleansing ourselves of? We're cleansing ourselves of pride. 
Oh, that's the big word right there. Pride makes you believe that you can do it on your own. Pride makes you believe that my education will do it. My looks will do it. Uh, the way I can speak will do it. But how many of you know that at any given time, any gift that God has given you or anything that you're able to do, if God says, nope, that's it, it's over with. Or if God says, hey, that breath in your lungs, I need it back. How many of you know we must rely on God, not on these other different things. See, that's how it, when you recognize who is your source, you recognize all these other things are resources. So we want to be vessels of gold and silver. We want to be honorable vessels. We don't want to be vessels of wood and clay. Wood and clay are weak compared to gold and silver. We want to be able to build foundations in our homes, foundations in our children, foundations in our marriage, foundations within ourselves. We want the foundation to be strong. We don't want it to break when the wind blows. We don't want it to be tossed and fro when the wind blows. We wanna make sure that what we're founded on, what we're based upon, the decisions that we make are fortified by the knowledge and the wisdom of God. It's time out for good decisions. It's time for God decisions. If you're like me, I've made a lot of good decisions in life and some decisions that weren't so good and it gave me my results. And my results were, eh, they were okay. They were subpar. But when I start asking for God's knowledge, God's wisdom, and I recognize that I'm his daughter so I can go boldly to the throne of grace. When I begin to recognize that he wants to pour into me wisdom, he doesn't want me confused. He doesn't want me not knowing. He wants to liberally give me wisdom. When I tapped into who I was with relationship to God, see, that's the thing. We have an identity and then we have an identity in God. We have an identity in Christ. And who Tanisha is by herself is subpar to who Tanisha is when she gets in God. So when we recognize that God is the one who defined us from the beginning, and so who are we to tell the creator that what you defined is not what I want to do? What you defined is beneath what my dreams and goals and visions are. Who are we to tell God that? Remember, he redeemed us. He gave his only begotten son for us. So guess what? He can turn around and tell us. Well, this is it. I don't necessarily want you to be a lawyer. I want you to be a minister and I want you to help break bondage off of people's lives. I don't want you to necessarily be a, a teacher. I want you to go ahead and be a makeup artist because guess what? Many broken women are gonna sit in your chair and what I put on the inside of you will be able to minister and not only minister, but deliver them. Listen, God is smarter than us. God is smarter than us. He knows more than us. He knows us better than we know ourselves. And it's time for us to trust him. It's time for us to be vessels of gold and silver and not of wood and clay. Yes, we are gold and silver. That's what the Lord has been sharing with me. We are gold and silver. It's time for us to recognize our identity in him. So I pray that this has blessed you. I pray that you understand with the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart. And I pray that you recognize that God is doing a new thing in your life. I just hear that right now on this line, that God is doing a new thing in many of your lives. You don't understand it. It looks like something you've never seen before in your life. You're the pioneer. You're the trailblazer. But I promise you, if you put your hand in God's hand and you refuse to walk away and you refuse to say, God, I give up, I promise you, God will lead you to where you need to be. It will be on time. It will be in the right season. The perfect people that you need to support you will be waiting there for you. Listen, God has had the ability. He's put the sun in the sky and he told it when to set and to rise. He put the moon the same thing. The stars, he told the ocean where to stop and where the sand and shore to begin. What makes you think that he can't help you figure out your life? He created you and he loves you and he's concerned about you. So amen. Let's just pray it on out until Lady Leah comes back on. God, we thank you for letting us know what our identity is in you, God. 
We've tried it on our own, and God, we recognize on many of occasions we failed, but we believe, God, that as we continue to pursue you and diligently seek you, you will reward us. You will reward us with knowledge of our identity. We won't be confused. We won't get into relationships that mean us no, no good. We won't get into business partnerships. We won't walk into situations that are good ideas, but we will now walk into situations that are God ideas. And God, we just thank you. We thank you how you are pouring into us and how you are changing us and how you are revamping us, how you are upgrading us, how we are the 2.0, 3.0, 4.0 version, Father God. Just like Apple has to get a new download, you've been downloading new things into us. And so we just thank you in this moment, God. And we pray that we will not be rebellious. We will not be uh, insubordinate and that we won't act like we don't hear you. We won't uh, turn off our ears to your voice. But as a matter of fact, we will turn up the volume. We will increase the frequency. We will pursue after you. We will be diligent in pursuing your will for our lives. We will say time out for playing with the things of God. And we will become serious about what you said to us. And God, we thank you for your long suffering. We thank you for your patience with us. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. For it is unto you, Father God that we're going to keep giving all the glory, honor, and praise in the mighty matchless name of Jesus, the only Messiah that we pray to. Amen and amen. Woo. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Is yes. the only thing I could say. God, you are amazing. Thank you so much, Minister Tanisha. That was a word that I know I needed to hear. And I believe every woman that's tuning in right now needs to hear. Listen, we know everybody doesn't take their break at 12. So share this with someone. Um, I'm going to actually post it to my personal page. And because I feel like there's so much value here. And there's so many women across the world that needs to know who they are. Not just who they are, but as you said, Minister Tanisha, who they are in God. That's it. That's it. So listen, it's time for some God decisions. We are vessels of the master for the master's use. Let's get it, ladies. Make sure you join us next Wednesday at noon for more about her. See you next week.